You don't have to worry about Disney buying us, folks. Unless they decide to offer us lots and lots of cash. You're listening to The Fellas. Ah, oh, man, I don't know what to do about that. Whew, this has been a roller coaster of emotion with this movie. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to see something that's uh, not high budget. Yeah, I, I tell you that. Hey, everybody, it's, it's the fellas. It's uh, it's me and your boy Ray. Uh, it's the two of us. And today we saw the sequel to a movie that we pretty much found is somewhat decent, even though we were mostly uh, mocking it. And the fucked up thing is, I didn't even know it had a fucking sequel. So Ray comes to me and says, yo, we're going to see uh, 47 Meters Down Uncaged. I'm like, fuck is that? No, no, it's a sequel to that movie. 47 meters down. What the fuck is that? He was like, we saw it. What? Yeah. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I, I don't remember shit about that yeah, movie. I'm, remember that that movie about that shark and trying to eat those women inside that cage? That ain't explaining much. I mean, I Ray literally, we're sitting in the fucking theater in the middle of trailers, which is the best part of any movie. It's a trailer. And we got B, B and the trailer. he had too. to fucking sit there and spend like 15 minutes explaining to me what the original 47 meters down was until I was like, oh, wait, you mean that movie about them? ditzy broads in Mexico, them valley girls that did some dumb shit, got fucking ripped up by sharks. Yes. And I started giggling. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I think I think I like that movie. And he's like, oh, here's a sequel to that. Oh, okay. Now, here's the thing. I have come to the conclusion, movies that involve really ditzy females, be it girl or woman, really ditzy females doing really ditzy and stupid female things. Yes. It both confuses and angers me. Yeah. Well, like, why the fuck are they doing that? So I had come to the decision that if there's a movie in which that sort of thing is taking place, yeah, we got to have a female. Okay, okay. Thankfully, at some part during my drunken diatribes, you remembered that I said that. Yes. Which is why you invited M to go see the movie. Oh, shit, I fucking forgot. M, you still over there? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. I completely forgot. Yeah, M went to see this movie with us, and I was like, hmm, something to do with sharks and people getting ripped up, and normally she doesn't like that shit. She likes bullshit romantic comedy. Comedies, like that one movie with the fat chick yeah. that's supposed to be making fun of romantic comedies. What's that called? Uh, I can't remember. That's it's, so romantic. I think. Oh, is that what it's called? I think that's what it was At called. At some point, I want to review that and tear that movie a new asshole. Okay. Because I actually look forward to that, and it did not... Satisfy you? It did not make fun of that genre the way I thought it should. And in the end, the woman still comes out on top. It, I just thought it was fucking stupid. Anyway, so yeah. M will hopefully, M, hopefully you'll be able to point out some of the female thinking. I don't think you will succeed because these are also supposed to be kids. Well, teenagers or in high school or some, something like that. Yeah, young young adults, which was the only thing that was keeping my half chub from going full mass well, well, throughout the movie. I had to keep reminding myself, yo, they're, they're pretending to be children. They're, they're, and then my erection would slightly go down because yeah, they were hot. Jesus. I, I didn't think about that until you told me when we left the theater. They were supposed to be playing essentially seniors in high school. I'm like, oh. Um, I don't even think seniors. I don't know. I mean, All we, I know was they were, they were supposed to be the youth. The youth? The youth. That's what you say in the, the south. Ute? The Ute. Ute. Okay. The four Utes. The four Utes? Yeah. Utes driving in the Yucatan of Mexico all by themselves. Like okay, I'm going gonna, gonna to pretend you didn't say that. Okay, and so bikinis, the, too. And bikinis. And, no, uh, everything could, from the first scene in their Catholic schoolgirl uniforms to the next scene in their very revealing bikinis to the even next scene with the smoking hot Asian broad constantly laying in ways that clearly exposed her camel toe and brought on what I call the demons, which are the bad thoughts and I push to the back of my head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I push those thoughts back, and then every time she gets on the screen, she's in a pose with this little bikini, and the thoughts start rattling the cages, and I have to hit those thoughts with a camel prod. You, you think the camera to push guy... push those bad thoughts back. You think that camera guy had a half chub? Because he, he knew... Was, yeah, he was yeah, he knew he had a half chub. Behind the, girls. Direct, the director knew exactly what the fuck he was doing, and he's going to burn on the lowest rung of hell, and I'm going to be right there with him. Everything looked like it was filmed in a swimming pool. For Honestly, the most part, so yeah. Clean and clear. Well, yeah, that, on, that was kind of bullshit. Like that. that was kind of bullshit. But I, I digress. I think we're going to a bit too far too fast because I think there's going to be a lot of shit for yeah. us to complain about with this. <laughs> but as a preface, I want to say the original 47 meters down were about to... Um, how would you describe these girls with as little words as possible? Uh, they were... Would you say like wasps or valley girls? Valley girls I with think the valley head. girls would be best because they were doing dumb shit. But they were women, though. They were like... Like, like 26, yeah, 27. Yeah, but even, even for women, they were particularly stupid. Oh, God. That's... 
boy, we're gonna we're gonna get a lot of hate. That's what the chat's for, guys. Yeah. Send us your hate. I don't mind. But the original Forty Seven Meters Down, two young American blonde haired, blue eyed, Westworld problem girls. Oh, let's get drunk. Oh, let's meet these random Mexicans. Oh, let's get in the cage and drop down into the ocean with these two guys that we just met while we were drunk. And I was like, yeah, so, like, no one thought this was going to be a bad idea. Well, yeah. And I think they're screaming at the screen, like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I'm like, dude, come on. Dude, look at the ship. It's all rinkety. It's like, yo, I just fucking met you. And it's like, oh, let's, you know, let's go into the ocean. Like, you got a business license? Get. Okay. You got insurance? Get. Okay. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not fucking doing this. Oh. In, this, in your little fucking tugboat. But, he, but in this movie, it's about peer pressure. It's about yeah. bullies and peer bullies. pressure. And sharks. And sharks. In water. <laughs> and blind sharks. It's, that's a nice twist. Because this movie would have ended in like eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that the sharks were fucking I blind. I honestly thought... They can't see you. They can only hear you. I honestly... And I'm like, that don't make me feel better. You know, this movie was really pushing the time limit because... It looks like the story was written on one page. They really try to stretch this out so we're not on 20, 20 oh, minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it didn't need to be stretched out that far. In all honesty, this this movie should have lasted like half an hour long. <laughs> they shouldn't have yeah. lived. Kids their age being that stupid. No, nah, this this should have been over in like 30 minutes max. So let's, let's go through the plot real quick before okay. we start tearing this thing up. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. So in this movie, Sophie uh, Nielsen plays as Mia. I guess you could kind of say she's the main character yeah blonde haired blue eyed girl from the, the good old heart of america uh her mom dies and her dad marries this other chick black chick who already has a daughter which is courtney fox plays a character named sasha yeah uh oh, by the way it should go without saying or all any female i mention is is stupidly ridiculously hot yes especially uh i mean i mean like shift in your seat alone Shift in your seat to accommodate your penis hot. Like, yeah, I, my wife's sitting next to me. I don't want her to see this. Let me, let me shift a little bit to the right so she can't quite you. You ever, like, you know the, the thing where you take the penis and put it into the, the waistband of the underpants? Oh, yeah, you got to you gotta hold it. Yeah, that's from Superbad, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. Em, I'm giving you some insider baseball here. Okay. It's sometimes what a guy will do, take your penis, you take the, the head of your dick, and you put it behind the, the waistband it of the underwear. It pushes it up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It pushes it up. It keeps it's it in control. Trying to hide it. Yeah, but, it's like putting the leash on a dog but then you keep your balls free you keep your balls free and exactly and and really because the balls gotta breathe yeah yeah this is this is one of those movies so mia is not quite savvy with the popular girls like sasha she's there because they all moved to mexico because see they all moved to mexico because the dad's an archaeologist and they're going to this elite mexican private school in mexico and a black chick uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mention. Uh, the mother's black, the father's white. Uh, there's some black pill shit going on. You guys figure it out for yourself. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Sasha has her group of friends. Yeah, they're all different ethnicity. You got a Spanish. You got the Rainbow Coalition going the on. Spanish, Asian, black, and white. Exactly. Mia is kind of the awkward girl who gets picked on by these other Valley girls. By the way, are there like no Mexican kids at this elite private Mexican school? What not, the fuck? No, this is happened? a rich school. This is ri- uh, out this of, school for the rich. Uh, okay, so Mia's getting bullied. Sasha has her two best friends. Sasha has her two best friends, who's played by uh, the the white girl Sistine Rose Stallone. She plays as Nicole. I think she would look more like more like Italian or Spanish. I yeah. Guess. God, all these names are so white. Mia, Sasha, Alexa, Nicole. And then there is Brian Chu, obviously an Asian Brian name. Brian Chu is pretty hot. Yeah, who plays the stupid, stupid, stupidly hot Alexa. Now, obviously, she's older than what she's portraying. But I tell you, man, in the right circumstances, I could end up pulling an Epstein. I'd be in federal pound-me-in-the-ass prison. This girl is sinfully hot. She yes. doesn't even have what I love the most. She don't got the big fake tits that all the girls in Hollywood need. She's pretty flat-chested. But God damn, she's hot. Yeah, she's five foot one too. That's that's perfect, because I'm short. I'm like, what am I, like five foot three? Five no, 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 you're a little bigger. You're like five six. That's that's what I need. A short Asian, something like that. But yeah, she's <laughs> she's stupidly hot. Now here's the thing that pisses me off though. Their hotness is a selling point, a huge down point. In fact, the largest down point. Any time any of them speak of these four. I feel like I'm being stabbed in the fucking ears. Their Valley Girl speak is just it's offensive to a level I can't even comprehend. You think their acting was better when they had the masks on their face? No. No. 
Oh my god, like totally like chair yeah. guys, 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 you've got to calm down. I'm super serious. I'm like, oh god. You didn't notice I was grinding my fucking teeth every time they spoke. But I don't think kids talk like that anymore in real life. Yeah, I don't think so. Either. I don't think they fucking talk like that. And man. I wouldn't go into the bush with a midriff on going through the jungles of That whatever. also bothered me. The father has discovered some ancient ruins that are underwater, yes. under Mexico. And he's like, oh, girl, I gotta just, you know, discover these ancient ruins so I can't come out with you this weekend. But here's a ticket to go on a glass bottom boat so you can see sharks. And then the black chick, Sasha, while they're in line, her friends come up. It's like, yo, we found this awesome spot. You two should go with us. And they go with them. And the first thing that's pissing me off, everyone's wearing a bikini, okay? Yeah. I'm like, okay, it's Mexico. It's hot. Apparently, you know, you can be nice, prime, grade A U.S. Valley girl in Mexico going around wearing that shit. And you won't be kidnapped. You're not, yeah. You won't be thinking. kidnapped and gang raped, apparently. Yeah. I mean, I go in Mexico, I'll be wearing a fucking burka. <laughs> I don't want nobody <laughs> This guy, he looks American. No, nope, got a burka on. Complete. I'm from uh, Venezuela. I got no money. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, I don't want nobody knowing that I have anything that someone would want to pay a ransom for. And these girls just going around half naked. Yeah, they're driving around the streets. Fucking everything is like, how are yeah, you going to call speeding help? and shit. Yeah, I was like, oh. You know, I'm going to Mexico. I ain't going to speed. I'm worried that some cop's going to find me and beat me like a sack of dirty laundry because he fucking can because it's Mexico. Fuck. We went to fucking Germany and we got shook down. I, 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 There's I, I, dirty cops everywhere, yes, guys. Yes, we did get shook down. We got a shakedown in Germany. There's dirty cops everywhere. <laughs> and they're way more open with it than in America. Let me tell you that right now, but I digress. So they're going through the bush. Rocks, cliffs, and so much skin is exposed. Yeah. All was... I'm thinking is, I'm like, yo, slow down. I'm not going to go that fast. Like, if I fall and scratch up against anything I'm fucking bleeding I'm done yeah it's like it's gonna be fucking blood everywhere oh shit it's gonna get infected I'm in the middle of nowhere they're just wandering around and jumping over rocks and shit let me get the fuck out of here and then they get to this clearing this oasis yes that's like which is nice by the way yeah it's nice but it's like a bunch of water deep down in a crevice that has like a little pad a log pad for people to stand on and how did he get that pad there who the fuck knows but she's like yeah if we go around that way the cliffs are low and we can climb down you know or we can just jump and the ditziest one of the group freaking uh nicole or was that Catherine? no that was nicole okay nicole just fucking jumps in and it's like a fucking 40 foot drop she yeah. just jumps in and then the sexiest one asian alexa is like oh well and she jumps in and i'm and all i'm thinking is fuck that I'm going to walk my ass around that fucking cliff and gently lower my old geriatric ass into that fucking water. Yeah. I ain't jumping down. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't fucking doing that. I don't know what's in that water. You better do that. That water could be three feet deep. I can't tell. You don't know how long they're going to be waiting up there. I, you, could, I could hit the cliff side. You know what? She could have been the, the saving grace hmm. if she would have waited. Mm -mm. No, get the fuck out of here with that shit. So they all jump in there. They're frolicking in the water for like two minutes of screen time yeah and you're like man these hot chicks in bikini it's frolicking in the water them hugging each other yeah and yeah and here's smiling, the thing like as a man you assume oh these hot chicks hot hot young hot <laughs> young chicks in bikini frolicking around in the water and jumping in and hugging each other and holding hands man this is hot and then they would talk <laughs> <laughs> they would talk and I would grab my ears like oh you fucking shut up just <laughs> shut the fuck up I can't stand your fucking voice they, their voices just fucking annoyed me they were beautiful though oh man that that was that was the one where Alexa was quote unquote sunbathing oh yeah yeah and she would always have one leg up you know with the knee arch yeah and the other one just laying flat so you can get a, a good nice view yeah of that that forbidden palace yeah yeah uh, i'm gonna donate some money to charity because i'm going to hell i i try to push these thoughts because again these women are of age but they're pretending to be the youth yeah the youths they're pretending to be the youths and man it's bad but god damn brianne and being, Chew is hot and being um, young equals being stupid so yeah so naturally they're like oh we've got scuba gear here 
and there's relics under the water. Let's go down there and swim around. And I'm like, nope, not going to do it. Now, M, you're a woman. Maybe you feel, would you be more adventurous? Is, is yes. this Is this a stupidity thing because they're girls no. or because they're young? Well, both. I would have totally jumped in that water. <laughs> oh, my Lord. And you see, the scuba... <laughs> you see, this is that female privilege I keep telling you about. Is remember the movie... I used to climb trees and walk in woods barefooted. Yeah, I would... when I was a kid, I did that dumb shit, too. I used too. to chase after farm animals and right. any animals that are loose. I'm like, I'm going to yeah. catch that. <laughs> Abso- absolutely. But so then, but then, you grow up and you say, yeah, I'm not doing that. Just but these girls stupid. are not grown up. So that's why I'm asking you, is it okay. a youth thing or a woman thing? I do dumb shit when I'm a kid, I but... Yes, it's a young thing. Remember, you, there's a movie... But there's a young... There's a movie with, with, with Jack Nichols in it, uh, called As Good As It Gets. Yes. Yeah. And a woman asks him, hey, how do you write women so well? So, well, I think of a man, and I take away reason and accountability. <laughs> <laughs> and I was... As a kid, I'm like, well, that's stupid. But as I got older, I was like... Shit, that fucking explains everything. <laughs> but the thing is, being stupid, even back then, would you say going into an underwater cave, scuba diving? Yeah, I would have done it. If I scuba dive, if you dive told me sharks living, were in there, no. Well, I'd, they didn't know sharks were in there. Yeah, I would have been. But you know, I mean, it, as a kid, if I had scuba dived many times before, yes, yes, I would have went in there. Yeah, possibly. If someone was like, you know, one of these girls would probably fuck you if you do it. All right. Yeah, I, I'd, have, I'd have fucking so, done it. But so they go into the catacombs. And it's yeah. nice and whatnot. And the funny thing is, the first thing I fucking thought to myself is like, yo, why don't you guys have some sort of rope or something <laughs> so you know which way you went? That's like, ah, yeah, I, I guess most people don't do that. Yeah. Now, the peer pressure thing probably would have been like. You- it's not peer pressure. It's being stupid. <laughs> It's like, hey, you know, let's let's drag They're race our cars. They're gonna survive over the power of no, friendship. Like, you no, know I'm saying, hey, someone says, yo, let's drag race our cars. Okay, but I'm gonna put on my seatbelt. Yeah. He didn't mention nothing about whether you can wear a seatbelt. I'm gonna fucking put it on. You're not you're gonna make sure cops are not patrolling that street. Exactly. That's that's just common fucking sense. But that's why the girl, the the girl who was the leader, she, quote unquote, she, Alexa. She was like, okay, we're only going to one temple and back. They thought. Nothing would go wrong, and it would be just as simple. Well, she was a responsible one. (laughs) Yeah, but she was also crying through half the fucking movie, so... Yeah, well, they all were. That that doesn't mean anything. So they get down there, and they're swimming around, and, um, you know, they see this weird... Here's the thing. Any of the fish down there are blind. Yes. Because it's complete blackness. The girls have to use a flashlight. So the fish evolved... To not use their eyes. They're completely blind. They're just going based on sound and the vibrations of the water. Yeah. And apparently, one fish scared uh, the Asian chick, Alexa, so much that she backed into something. And long story short, she caused a fucking cave. Yeah, yeah. But apparently, this fish barked at him. That yeah, fish it's made an <laughs> animal noise. I'm sorry. Well, a non-fish animal noise. I'm like, what is that? A tiger? Yeah, I yeah. Like, the fucking fish barked. I was like, what? I could stop laughing. I, was I, like, I know my animal sounds here. I genuinely didn't know if it literally barked Did at they them. Borrow or the Jurassic was, Park sound soundtrack. Yeah, or, or, or was that just like the, supposed to be a movie sound effect? Did it really bark at them? Like, what the fuck's going on? The fucking fish fucking barked at them. Like, Get the fuck out of here. Something. Yeah, that that was ridiculous. <laughs> so. So after the cave in, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, Even, they gotta, well, that that rock falling mm-hmm. also was ridiculous because it, it fell really fast. How is that thing yeah, so right, light? It it's been there for thousands of years, being heavy. It can't move. Well, and then one my, little touch, it just falls over. Yeah, my whole thing was, I was like, yeah, that those rocks should have been a bit easier to move because with the water being there, there's no air pockets for the rocks to fall in. I mean, water is not very dense at all, but it's denser than air. Yeah. That's for damn sure. So it's like the rocks shouldn't have sealed themselves in so yeah. compactly. Honestly, they should have been able to move those rocks out. Yeah. You know, but but whatever. They just try to, yeah, yeah, they're just trying to make sure that you have more encounters with this damn tiger shark or whatever shark, whatever this is. Yeah, yeah. so shark. she ends up meeting up with one of the uh, the father's like employees down there after the collapse he's like yo what are you guys doing here no we came down here and we got scared and there's a cave in and we can't get out he's like all right well you know did you run a line down here so you can get back and i was like aha 
So you should run a line because yes. that guy had a line. He's like, I ain't fucking getting lost in the air. Yeah. I got this line telling me which way I went. And especially being in water, I don't know where which way is left or right. Yeah. So the guy's like, yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna get these girls out of here, and a very nice payoff. As soon as he was like, <laughs> all right, I'll get you. Poof. Yeah. <laughs> fucking shark yeah. yanked on his ass. That shark got him bad. You know, the only good thing about being in a theater is the sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. the sound actually makes you jump because they use that horn or didn't right right when the shark comes out. Like, oh shit, actually got me to jump for a little bit for no reason. I'm like, yeah. I know it's coming, but they weren't like most horror films. They actually kind of give you the tall tale. The uh-huh. slow, the slow build up. The slow build up is like, okay, there's a jump scare that's gonna be there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be prepared. Here, there was no build up. It's like you're gonna jump, like you didn't see it coming. Yeah, and that was actually kind of the only thing that was kind of redeeming about the scares on here. So now it's all about okay, the shark's there. It's trying to kill him. They gotta get out. Oh, you mean like like 47 meters down? Yes, exactly like that. Okay, yes. so they have to backtrack through the ruins. To find the way that the guy went through, and they're going basically following his his line yeah. to get back. Now, of course, there's several times they meet the shark, they try to get away, and this is what I don't get. A lot of times that you know they encounter the shark. Actually, every time they, that they encounter the shark and they get away, yeah, they go through some crevice that the shark can't get through, and when the shark can't get through, let's say a gate, yes, the shark is swimming towards them. It hits the gate. Now the shark can't see. Yes. Can't see, you know, whether there's a hole in the gate. Can't see how big the gate is. I'm thinking the shark would swim and hit the fucking gate and be like, fuck, there's something here in the way. And then he would swim away or try to find some way around, bump on the wall to see a way to get through, whatever. The shark, and he only does this when there's a passage that they can go through, but he can't. Yeah. He keeps ramming himself into the fucking passage. Yeah, like, like. And I was like, what the fuck is he doing? If the shark had eyes, I would get it. Like, okay, I see the circumference of the hole. Let me just see if I can squeeze through. No, it's like if I bang something on the wall, so the shark thinks I'm there. Yeah. And he swims and smashes into the wall. Why would the shark continue to smash into the fucking wall? Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Like, okay, something here is stopping me from getting by. Let me move somewhere else and see if I can get around it. And if I can't, fuck it. It's gone. Yeah. And I'll just go somewhere else. This is That's the one thing every I time, can never, actually. Every fucking time. I was These like, are those, those smart what the sharks fuck? that are like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sam Jackson is not here. A woman's, a woman's not getting bitten in a vagina. This is not Deep Blue Sea. Okay? No. It, it, that I thought was bullshit. But in some of the more rewarding parts, she eventually meets up with her father down there. Yes. He's the archaeologist exploring the ruins. Like, yo, we're trapped down here. We're stuck. And at this point, there's already, you know, two bodies thanks yes. to this shark. Yeah, two men. And I'm like, all these girls are going to survive. Yeah, this is kind of bullshit. That same too. It's like, why? They're so incompetent. Why have they been alive this long? But the two more competent seafaring guys are both dead. Yeah. yeah. So the father's like, look, I'm going to take you to the place that we came in. Here, come out this way. And he's like, yeah, there's this rope with a winch attached to it. You use the winch to slowly bring you up. Yeah. Once you get up, you send it back down. Then the next person comes up. Yeah. Okay, Asian girl gets about two feet above the water when they realize, oh, holy shit. shit, there's two more the sharks shark. in here. Yeah, and it's not even the original shark. These are two additional sharks, both blind. The superior valley chick, Nicole, was like, fuck that. She jumps on top of the Asian chick, like, fuck it. The I'm, fa- I'm fucking climbing the fucking rope. I'm getting out of here. The father's like, yo, it doesn't support their, their weight. Two people. Hold on. These bitches can be more than a buck ten. Well, that's not what really bothers me. All he did was up above the cliff. Yeah. They laid the rope between two rocks with some sort of big thing that couldn't properly squeeze through the rocks. Right, it wasn't anchored properly. Right, like, it wasn't anchored at all. Like, and eventually one it guy was still the, knocked that thing down. I'm like, how hard would it have been to just pull it long enough until you find a tree, loop it around the tree, <laughs> and hook the rope onto the other side? That's it. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah. But apparently, they couldn't fucking do that. And like, this is some lazy shit. <laughs> if someone said, yeah, we're going to climb down there, how are we going to do it? You use this rope. Well, what's it connected to? No, we'll just put it between these two rocks. It'll be good. Yeah, they had I'd one be like, rope. make it the fuck out of here. Don't they have that. like three employees? They should yeah. have at least three. I'm ropes. like, first of all, you're going to have two of those ropes. It's going to be a backup. Second of all, you're going to do a lot better than sticking it between two fucking rocks. 
<laughs> hoping for the best. Third of all, oh, we just found this. No one knows it's here. So you went here, didn't tell nobody at the office, I'm gonna be at this place. So if I'm not back by evening, you need to send a rescue crew to this place. Yes. It's not like you're hunting for fucking treasure. Yes. This is a government sanctioned archaeological dig. They need to know where the fuck you are. You can die and not only will no one know that you're dead. If someone did, you know, notice this guy's been here for like three weeks. Where is he? I don't know. Where Nobody go? fucking knows. <laughs> That's fucking retarded. That makes no fucking yeah, sense. It's, it's not safe. It's not safe at all. It's it, it's ridiculous. So she's climbing up. Naturally, the hook gets loose. She falls back in. And the sharks tear her in two. Yeah, she dodges, Very actually. Impressive. She dodged, like, two two sharks at once. And then he's like, not oh, well shit, enough. she was going to survive. Yeah, and they got a hold of her and ass and ripped man, her in they, half. They kind of rolled like alligators do. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Which sharks was, do not do, by the way. And then they ripped her in half. And I was like, oh, my God. God. And then this is one a of the very best rewarding scenes. death scene. Yeah, th- that was a rewarding death scene. And, and then, then the- afterwards, they're like, oh, this little uh, beacon emits a signal that pisses the sharks off so they go away yeah and while the guys mid-speech okay look we can go deeper this thing goes out to the sea the water will pull us out we'll be fine but we have to stick to goop <laughs> fucking <laughs> as she came out of nowhere which was very rewarding <laughs> very rewarding that, that shark was... got his ass good <laughs> and all i could think all I could think of was, man, what a waste of an oxygen tank. <laughs> I know. I would have went back to look for that shit. No, but his was low. His was his low, was but low. doesn't matter. Once their shit ran out, put his shit on and turn it on. Was it weird for me that the first five minutes of the film, they ran out of half of their air, and then that air that they were left with lasted through longer, the, than, longer the, than the rest of the first <laughs> half of the movie? It was really yeah. weird. Damn, are you going to be on 20 points of air for the next hour? Possibly so. They string I mean, they this shit find, out. They did find some air pockets, I guess. Basically, they're just trying to get to the exit. Yes. You know, in time. Eventually, the Asian chick dies, which yeah. I was very sad for. I not in looking. a not in a satisfying way either. Oh yeah, she. To me, I would rather die by the sharks yes. than how she yes. died. Because a shark grabbed her by the tank, and she was like, "Oh, I'll just take off my tank." And I'm thinking to myself, "Well, wait, how are you gonna breathe?" And she took off the tank. I'm thinking, "How's she gonna breathe without the tank?" Just and she gone. takes the tank off, and as she's going, you see slowly her eyes are rolling up into the back of her head and that last Bubble. gasp breath comes out of her mouth you see the bubbles and like ah oh, what a waste of meat what a what you're you're a horrible fucking human being oh you're, like, you're yeah, a fucking just... sexist dog oh, fucking man. waste of meat all right so yeah. it gets to the last part there's some other hijinks in suit they finally get out and you can see the coastline there's some you can see the cliffs but there's some coastline she's like well how do we get back i'm like fucking swim to the coast you get the coast and you, you get the cliffs and you just keep moving until you fucking get to land but it just so happens they see the same glass bottom boat yeah. that they're supposed to go on and they're tossing chum in the Which water. I thought was fucked up and funny at the same that time. That was I kinda fucking figured that, hilarious. I was like, why? I even said like, oh, the water looks a little red there. <laughs> it's getting Yeah, red. and then they spend the whole time trying to get on the boat and constantly getting snatched by sharks right when they get to the boat. And this is pretty funny because to me, this girl's being bullied through like the entire movie mm-hmm. by this one girl and I was like, damn, the bully's gonna get her revenge. This is pretty fucked up. I thought that too. Like, she's gonna no 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 she already got the girl that she bullied no no she already got her revenge on the bully when she gave them the finger oh she was like she gave me the finger i can't believe she put her she put her hand on her chest like oh my god this girl (laughs) gave me the finger someone give me my fainting couch (laughs) this is such bullshit (laughs) such valley girl bullshit i'm like get the fuck out of here they eventually get back with huge chunks out of them they don't explain what they're going to tell the mother like yeah your husband is dead his employees are dead and two high school kids are dead <laughs> the end roll credits <laughs> and, I gotta oh tell by you. the way your daughter has a gargantuan chunk of her abdomen ripped out and your stepdaughter has her leg gashed up held by nothing but the white meat <laughs> you're just gonna you're just gonna gloss over that roll credits <laughs> the was funny is that she dived in because her stepsister got bit by the shark and it kind of went bullet time it was kind of amazing oh because she fired the flare <laughs> yeah yeah, she tried to pull a Jason Statham. She didn't quite pull it off, but, you know, I salute her for trying. Yeah. I'm going to look this shark in the eye and shoot him with this flare. Then when the shark gets me, I'm going to fucking stab him to death <laughs> with a shark tooth. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Madam, she tried to Jason Statham, you're Madam, right. <laughs> I've seen Jason Statham. I know Jason Statham. You, you are no Jason Statham. 
Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Uh, but yeah, you know that was that that was pretty much it. Yeah, let's review this thing. All right. Well, I'll tell you right now. Um, yeah, I'll give this a rental. I mean, I think the last one I gave a matinee, which was fair. But the new one tried so hard to emulate the last one. No, the new in too much finite detail that the circumstances that got them there, they weren't really trying. It's, yeah. Oh, she's bullied and this and that yeah. and whatever, and we're gonna make all these outrageously stupid decisions. The first girls, those were stupid decisions, but that was a night of being drunk. Yeah. I can kind of blame it on the alcohol. And, and they were actually real actresses. Yeah, that, well, I'll be generous with that. <laughs> but I can kind of see, okay, this was fucking stupid, but whatever. But this one, it's just, their reasons for being there are stupid on way too many levels. I did get what I was looking for, yeah. but it felt like they weren't trying as far as they gave it to me. Yeah. So that's not to say I wouldn't watch it. I just wouldn't pay to watch it. Well, you I'd wouldn't watch it on Netflix. You wouldn't watch the first 40 minutes of it. And this movie's like an hour and 20 minutes long. Yeah, an hour and 20 minutes. You just got to skip to the 20. Yeah, it's <laughs> the an 20 hour, minutes of, it, of the end. That's... Yeah, it's an hour and 20 minutes. But of that, it's about like 40 to 50 minutes of staring at teenage crotch and being deeply ashamed. Yes. And then, like, seeing people eaten by sharks and then just, like, waiting for it to be over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would give this also a rental. I mean, the payoff at the very end was actually very good. <laughs> Even the last shot. It's like, hey, watch out! <laughs> I'm like, what the... What one moment you said, man, this shit should have been in 3D. I mean, like, damn. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, it was slow payoff. The acting was bad, but it was almost a packed theater, knowing that it was about 20 seats in there to begin with. So I would give it a rental. Right. And what about you? I'll give it a high rental. Oh, wow. I was kind of cringing. I'm like, I am afraid of sharks. I didn't like the CG in the sharks. They were like, they look like I was looking at a video game or something. I'm like, is this a hug? Well, that comes I'd with the territory. Watch, I mean, that was the same you know, thing. Animal in, Planet and then see a shark look. Well, the problem is, that was the same thing in the first one, but you didn't know because it was so fucking dark down there. They never let you get a full shot of the shark in the first one. Yeah. You just saw it in bits and pieces, so you didn't know it was a CGI. But still, a fair rating. Yeah. It's not, it's not bad. All right, so yeah, we'll, we'll we'll give this one a middle of the road rental. All right, guys, uh, next week we're gonna try something new, but we will still be doing reviews. But we will try something new, and hope you guys like that. All right, don't, guys, don't forget to visit us on our website at g2ta.net, godtalkabout.com, and don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube page and Patreon. All right, fellas.